Welcome to DentonRadio.com, powered in part by the Denton Black Film Festival and Classic of Denton. Welcome, everybody, to DentonRadio.com. Thank you very much for joining us this evening. It kicks off today. We have been talking about it all month and really, really excited to get to be able to talk about it today. The Denton Black Film Festival kicks off tonight. Now, we are doing something really special here for you guys that I am very, very stoked about. There is a living legend That is going to be at the Denton Black Film Festival performing this Saturday. We have got him on the phone. Eat your heart out because I am so excited. Please welcome Frank (laughs) McComb. How are you doing, bud? I'm good, man. I'm good. (laughs) Good, good, good. Well, thanks so much for being on with us today. We appreciate it. Oh, man. Thanks for having me. I appreciate it very much. Well, Denton yeah. has got such a, a good jazz reputation, and everybody's always looking for great jazz and, and, and just jazzy influences and things like that. And so I am so excited. If somebody's been living under a rock and hasn't heard of you, uh, that they got to come check out your show because I think it's just going to be everything that they've been looking for uh, here if, they, if they're visiting us in Denton and, and all that good stuff. So I, I just, oh, I'm so excited for the show, if you can't tell. Um, so you... <laughs> 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 Good. Loving it, loving it. Um, so we, uh, you have played with some amazing, amazing artists. Um, can you tell us, uh, just name some of your favorites and some of the stories that you've gotten to to kind of accumulate over the years? Well, let's start with Prince. That's a good place to start. The biggest- yeah, that would have to. Yeah, huh? <laughs> that would have to be the, the biggest name that I would say I've worked with, mm. um, and at least the people would know. Um, it's quite. A few, it, it's a few people, and each person um, actually helped to uh, build my career. Mm. You know, each person that I mentioned, Prince being one, because he taught me how to brand myself, and uh, I got a lot of marketing tips from him. I mean, how do you market the color purple when you get rich? I mean, mm-hmm. I worked with Prince with the 3121, and back in the 3121 days, and we would do all the house parties at his place after after the Grammys, uh, the NAACP Awards, um, the, the Oscars, you know, American Music Awards, after all the award shows. And um, the home that we did, or one of the homes that we did the parties in, was 3121. That was the, the number to the address. And he actually used that and marketed it and made money. So, so he's the one that told me to brand myself. So I actually, when you see all the FMs on my cap, that's me. I mean, I actually branded myself because he he uh, encouraged me to do it. So I wrote my signature about a thousand times until I found the right one that I could use as a logo. So, so anytime cool. you see that FM, you know that's me. Uh, I would have Love to it. say Brand for Marcellus because when joined with Brand for Marcellus, it helped to it helped to catapult my career as an out front artist. I was in a band with him in the nineties called Buckshot La Funk. And we had a couple of hit songs and then he's responsible for helping me get those hits. So uh, there was a song called Another Day, we'll probably play it as well. And it was uh, number five on the R and B charts, number one on the pop charts all over Europe. And uh, it led to my deal with Columbia Records. So in ninety nine, I'm sorry, ninety eight, I signed to Columbia, recorded the album and sat in the set on the shelf all of ninety nine. Uh, because Columbia didn't know what to do with it. So they finally released it in 2000. But while it's sitting on the shelf, all of 99, it comes the next influential artist, which is Shaka Khan. I toured with Frankie Beverly, April of 99, but from May to New Year's Eve, I toured with Shaka. Shaka gave me a lot of love because she featured me on stage every night, helping me to build a name. Mm -hmm. So during the time, I'm waiting on Columbia to put my record out. So um, another influential artist was Philip Bailey because he was the first to take me out of the country. We went to Japan, so... He was the first to ever introduce me to my Japanese audience. And uh, and uh, I would have to say Tina Marie. Tina Marie, when I lived in Philadelphia, I'm from Cleveland, born and raised, but I, I moved to Philadelphia in uh, 1991, right after touring with the Blue Boys from Bernie O.J. Um, I would have to say they made a with you because that's actually where I got my start. The OJs, wow. LaVert, Rude Boys. I was music, musical director for the Rude Boys. Tour with the Rude Boys, LaVert, OJs, all of 91. I was 20, I turned 21 on that tour. And I met Jazzy Jeff, who actually talked me into moving to Philly. So after that tour was done, I moved I moved to Philly to work with Jazzy Jeff and uh, and to work with Kenny Gamble and Leon Huff. And uh, that's when I had a conversation with Team Marie over the phone. 
Tina told me if I ever made my way to LA, it needs a job to let her know. So I signed to Motown, left Philadelphia, November 9th, 1992, moved to California uh, on a deal with Motown, recorded two projects for that label. They did nothing. They never even got a record out for me. They did nothing for me. So the deal was sour because they were bought out by Polygram for a lot of money. So I called Tina Marie because I needed to feed my family. And Tina remembered exactly who I was on the phone. Gave me my first job there. Yeah, well, here, rather, in California. And uh, it was at the Casita Country Club in 1993, 1992 going into 93, New Year's Eve, Casita Country Club with Tina Marie. So I've had a lot of influential artists. I mean, totally forgetting about DJ Jazzy Jeff in the first place. You know, Will Smith, Jazzy Jeff, they were very influential. Mm. You know, and I've worked with so many different artists and so many different genres of music. So I've been blessed to just be versatile. Love it. Which is great. You have to be versatile in this game if you're going to eat. Yeah, <laughs> very true. Really, very true. <laughs> oh well, yeah, super cool, super super cool. And again, super excited that we're going to get to see you uh, at the uh, at the festival this weekend. Um, you're going to be playing with Fingerprints, local group. Um, can you give us a little preview, a little highlight of of what the show is going to be like? The best way to describe what the show is going to be like, according to what fans say. The Stevie Wonder, Donnie Hathaway meet Herbie Hancock and Chick Corea, circa 1973. Love That's it. Way to put it. Love that. It's gonna be raw. No, no firecrackers, no uh, dynamite blowing up, no dances all over the stage, <laughs> no lights all over the place. Just talent, man. I love that. I love that. <laughs> Perfect. Just talent. <laughs> I love oh, yeah. it. I love it. Now I like good firecrackers every now and then too, but that's but but I prefer talk. <laughs> well, let's put it this way. Let's put it this way. It'll be it'll be it'll be talent, not entertainment. I love it. I love that. That's perfect. That's perfect. Oh yeah. Well, man, I'm it's such a fan, way. and I'm so looking forward to this show. It's going to be so great. Oh man, me too. Me too. I mean, I, I appreciate uh, the city of Denver even having me because this is just this is put it on the record now let's let the record show this is the first time i'll be playing Denton, texas well, and i hope it won't be the best. yeah let's let's hope it's not the last one I and mean, we got to get you back here as much as we possibly can again l really looking forward to the show if you have not gotten your tickets yet to the denton black film festival you are missing out make sure you go to dentonbff.com that's denton best friends forever or denton black film festival however you want to look at it.com <laughs> and, <was> uh, <laughs> and make sure you get your tickets now thank you all very much for tuning in with us at dentonradio.com thank frank a little frank thank you very much for being with us we really appreciate it man thanks for having me looking forward to it man all righty guys you heard it here first don't miss the man the living legend himself frank mccomb over at the patterson appleton arts center on saturday playing with fingerprints thank you all very much for tuning in now we're going to jump back into the music well thank you for tuning in we hope you enjoyed the show we want to remind you don't miss your chance to get your tickets to the denton black film festival happening this weekend also make sure you check out our friends classic of denton at classicofdenton.com <laughs>